a Guess Who's Back, with another legendary episode of Kickstarter Crap, Where Are They Now? Back to the roots. Yeah, this video is going to be a little bit different. This time we're, uh, we're standing up. I need to get some circulation in my legs. The doctor tells me that uh, if I continue to sit on my chair, then I will develop blood clots in my legs, thus leading to a heart attack. So, I'm listening to my doc. Doc says move around. That's what I'm doing. I hope you're watching, doc. Fucking Jew. Fucking Jewish doctor. I'm moving. I'm moving. You want me to do some jump squats too? A quick correction, I'm not actually doing jump squats here. These are uh, jump knee tucks. Jump squats don't feel good right now because I got an injured tailbone. Want to know why I got an injured tailbone? I'll, t I'll give you the rundown. Laying back on my chair late at night playing video games. That's how I injured my tailbone. No, no high impact sport, no para jogging. Feet are above the head while I'm sitting down. Don't know how it happens. On today's episode of Kickstarter Cramp, where are they now? We are going to be pulling a project out of the fun project uh, bucket. The crap, we're going to call this the crap shoot. We're going to call it the crab bucket. Ooh, what's this? Goat horn, goat mug horn. The goat horn in the form of a mug. <laughs> let's, let's check it. Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Kickstarter Crap Daily Piece Crap is called Goat Mug. Wow. Guys, a cool hipster video. A hipster walks into a bar. A hipster, a hipster, hipster, hipsters, 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 hipsters. It's a fucking hipster. Hipster bullshit. This guy's a fucking hipster. I'm oh, sorry. Hipster. Hipster, hipster trading card. Cool hipster girlfriend and have her suck off your goat horn. A hipster. What is this hipster thing? I didn't even realize I ever went down this path. Oh, there's a big fucking beautiful hawk outside my window. You're beautiful. I admire your wingspan. Oh, he's landing. Does he, is that where his fucking nest is, the cunt? Looking past the weird obsession with hipsters, I think the uh, main criticism was that it's not very practical. You know, it's a bit of plastic that has a conical bottom, and it's not going to stand up on its own. But let's see what you guys wrote in the comments. Uh, here's a comment from H.F. Bauer, and he says, Put some titty milk in it, and I'll buy it. Yeah, just load that bitch up with some titty milk. Nice. Our next comment comes from Chandal Shiyand. And uh, she says, Suck my goat horn shaped veg. Alright guys, can we, I'm trying to not get adpocalypsed over here, so can we keep it down on the vulgarity? Goat horn cups are meant for two things. Mead and more mead. Where do you get mead? Don't know. Don't know. Fucking on about. All right, one of the f last few comments here. Snakosaurus says, "But e dups, thermoses are too wide for my butthole." <laughs> Some of you guys got a real co comedic bone in your body. What kind of gay faggot does one have to be to use a fucking goat horn to drink fucking coffee? That shit is for beer and mead. Seems like we got a lot of mead heads in, in the comments. You guys like mead? I myself like a good, uh, not your father's root beer, or not your grandmother's apple pie, or not your uncle's diddle stick. That's one of my favorite ones, is not your uncle's diddle stick. It's just like a, it's, it's edible alcohol, so it comes in the form of, uh, like a little pretzel stick, and you eat it, and it gets you real hot, it gets you real drunk. Obviously, the next part of this project is, uh, dealing with the goat horn itself. I got the goat mug sent to me by a viewer in bad unboxing. In fact, I was sent a couple of these. Funded with, funded, you see that right there? Can you see it? Funded with Kickstarter. Your goat mug is not microwave safe. We want you to drink your coffee fresh while it's still warm from brewing. That, my friends, is how you turn a problem into a selling point. Yeah, you can't microwave it, but you know what you can do? Brew some coffee and pour it directly in. Cause we want you to drink it fresh. Your goat mug contains a mug made of food grade pee pee. Great, I love food grade pee pee. <coughs> and they give you a nice little fucking chart there. Can you put it in dishwasher? No. Can okay, but but is this one dishwasher? Said yes. Thank you. I needed that. 
I'd like to put some meat in here. That's the, sort of the first thing that comes to mind. Is, oh, the leather straps inside. Now that is compartmentalization if I've ever seen it. It's impossible to clip this shit on here. Okay, not not impossible. Well, that's, that's sort of an oversight is that this shit just... Time to go on an adventure. Yeah, I'm ready. It appears to be the same goat mug like you see right there, but the box is clearly different. You know, this one, oh, classic goat story. Here it is. It almost looks like that was from the original Kickstarter project, but this is some bullshit. This is the goat horn from uh, something. I don't know. I don't know where this was purloined from. This one has a legitimate uh, pleather sort of covering thing. Let me, let me show you bitches, All right? I'll put my teeth, I'll sink my teeth into it and you'll see, oh, little pleather marks. I just sort of winged this part. I'm, I don't think biting leather actually tells you whether it's leather or not. <laughs> this is some weird, like, uh, rubbery plastic thing. On the top of this one, we have a logo of the goat. On the top of this one, we have the logo of the company Micro A. There you go. Goat horn one, goat horn two. Time to go see what these things are, can r really do. Fashion, fashion wise. Let's see what they can do fashion wise. I already feel cool. What the fuck? There's a helicopter circling my building. Man, there's so much more going on when you film during the day. I never do this. This is the first video in like seven years that I filmed in the daylight. I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm a coffee head. And if you're a coffee head like me, and you love a good cup of joe, one of the most important things in your arsenal is the coffee machine. This guy's a little bit tall, so we're gonna have to remove the, the bottom section of this. And, uh... All right, that looks good. You know what guys? Shit happens. At times like these, I, re I remember what my dad always used to tell me. Shit happens. Now instead of dealing with a hot beverage, I decided to mitigate the risk and we're now we're going to use a cold beverage. And how do I drink it? Yeah, like that, kind of. Okay, I can do that. you goat guys you really did make a, a pretty banging fashion accessory yeah. <laughs> but fashion time is over it's now time to talk all about the utility of them is a businessman or woman uh, going to be grabbing their goat horn on their way to uh, work at six o'clock in the morning I think it's not is it going to be someone who is currently attending community college and has uh, maximum three classes. Yes, I think so. They may walk to, uh, to class, or they may get driven by their mom or friend, in which case, it doesn't matter that if you even forget your strap, or if you even forget your holder, because you just hold on to it. This just can be something you just hold on to. You're in your art class, and you're like, hey guys, check this out. Rira, Rira, Rira. Hey guys, look! Wee snah! Believe me when I say this, guys, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Let's see what the project creator has been up to. Gina, Smart Coffee Instrument by Goat Story. Two years ago, we brought you one of a kind coffee mug, Goat Mug. We've fallen even deeper in love with coffee. Meet Gina. The first smart coffee instrument connects with an app. Y you know your coffee head. If, if you name, if you give your, your coffee machine a gender, what she can do, what, you want to know what she can do? I prefer calling my coffee machine they. You want to know what they can do? If you refer to my coffee machine as anything other than they, I'll just fucking kill you. What the fuck is this? And we discovered that manual technique in combination with technology produces by far the best results for coffee brewing. Pour, pour over coffee. See, see, I was thinking like, oh, pour over coffee. That must be some crazy new technology. 
No, it's it's antiquated technology. You you literally pour hot water yourself instead of your machine doing it. You literally pour the hot water yourself over the uh, the ground up coffee. I love feeling like a pioneer. Ooh, it's great. I love when technology brings you back to caveman days. That's fun. I I just love taking a journey back. What we do here is go back, back, back. Oh, let me tell you guys, I am sick and tired of all this crap that Starbucks is pumping out. They're just shitting it out. It tastes awful. I hate it. I can't stand it. Every time I drink it, I just throw up. So many coffee snobs out there don't want to get their hands dirty, but they don't realize this is what you're, you, this is what you're supposed to do. I want you to get some bricks, take a, like a broken cup, a cup that doesn't work, because that, that sort of adds to the flavor. You want to take that and nestle it. Now we need to take a clay pot, put it over that. Little bit of gravel down here at the bottom. Take some nice tinder, take a coffee filter, and you're just gonna wanna stack that at the top. I know, it might look a little weird, it might look a little strange at first. You can't tell me that's not making your mouth water. Now we're going to, ah, uh, look at that. Ready to drink. Oh, it's a little hot, it's a little hot. Oh, it's sort of, no, it's sort of leaking out. Okay, no, it's, it's not. We've salvaged it, it's fine. You know, oh no, oh, um. You know, first coffee heads, it's really it's really not about, you know, drinking the coffee, it's, it's the journey you take to get the coffee. So yeah, that's what they're working on, a coffee maker named Gina. Gina, bring me my coffee. It's kind of insulting, you know, for to women. Alexa, Siri, digital assistants, all of the assistants are women. All of the coffee makers out there, women. Gina, the smart coffee maker. You call it smart, but I really don't think, you know, if you really thought it was smart, you name it after a man. Like, uh, Jeffrey. Jeff. Ooh, 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 ooh. This gold mug make me a lot of money. You have a problem with the gold mug? Talk to my lawyer. He make the money from me, who make a lot of the money. It's called a beverage that brings you out of this world. <laughs> this story and dedicate... My mind hasn't changed on them. I think they're uh, just dog shit. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Kickstarter Crap, Where Are They Now? Featuring the goat horn mug. Uh, it was confirmed crap, which is probably gonna happen a lot, but you know, you, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. On the second channel, there's a series going on, I don't know if you guys have seen it. Let's just say it involves some furry friends. Uh, so you might want to go over to the second channel, IDubs TV 2. Uh, thank you so much for watching everyone, and uh, remember to tune in next time when I clip the cord. And that's how you end a show, people, and that's how you end a show. Good job. Nice job. Nice job. Thanks, Johnny. Yeah. Thanks, Rick. Man. Episode 55. Gosh, it feels good, man. It feels good. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I worry about, you know, just the future. And, you know, I don't, I just don't know if I'll always be happier. Is this, is, is this what I'm, it's supposed to feel like, you know? You know, I mean, the days are good. You know, I come, I come to work happy. I'm excited. And I get, I get a lot of work done. But you know, sometimes I think there, there might be more out there. It, but it's good. It's good. I, 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 I enjoy working here. And you know, you, you and Steve and Beth, they're all re really nice. And yeah, no, it's, it's nothing. I'm just, I'm just. Yeah, you're right. I'm just kind of rambling. Connects with an app and lets you follow the brewing Shut the fuck up, bitch. Gina can suck my dick. Shut the fuck up, smart scale. Gina suck my dick. Between coffee, water, and time. And by tuning the 